Hi there, my name is Dave. Today we're going to take a look at this beautiful little Cowles ME90 lathe. Got all sorts of attachments with it. I think you're going to enjoy this. If you like small lathes, you're going to love this. It does have the old spindle size and it doesn't have the cowling that goes over here on the more modern version. But by the same token, it's it's full, full tilt. It's got everything. I put a little motor on it and I'll show you some of the cool things I've got for this. All right, here we have a set of, you know, there's a mounting, that's the, the mounting for the lathe. And then a whole bunch of fly cutters. This guy must have done a lot of work. At least that's, I'm assuming that's what they are. That's the only thing, function I can figure out for them. A bunch of fly cutters. Um, so he could work on some fairly big surfaces with that. And of course, here's the cowls, steady rest and follow rest. Here's an entire, boy, this is a complete set of collets. And the collet chuck. It's the old style collet chuck. And this is this has the old threads. I don't remember what the difference is. It doesn't matter because all of these things fit those old threads. So uh, there's no need for me to change the spindle or anything. Here's a nice uh, four jaw chuck. And an extra set of jaws for it. Here's the milling attachment. This is the uh, device. Usually goes right on the milling attachment. Here's the beautiful gearing. This thing is precision. Oh my goodness, this is very, very high precision. Wonderful, wonderful lathe. There's nothing like the feel of super high quality. That's what this is. This is a, a rear mounted cutoff tool post. Very handy. I'm going to use that right now in just a minute. There's a typical rotating four tool holder kind of a deal. There's the whole thing there. There's the tail stock. Everything is very high precision on this lathe. This fits where the um, where the compound goes, and you can use that to hold the tool. And this, of course, you can mount on the rear, any, any place on the cross slide. Here's a, a full indexer for the thing. Beautiful, beautiful. You can cut ears of all sorts of different. Uh, pitches with that and here is a, a set of change gears to make I believe you can cut darn near any thread you could think of and uh, it's even it's fine for imperial threads it's a it's a metric lathe it's a one millimeter um, lead screw but by the same token you can the, the threads that you can cut with this are close enough they're gonna work just fine okay those are all tail stock attachments. There's a live center. I, ha I have a live center, but I don't have any dead centers. Uh, it doesn't matter. Here's a couple of a nice drill touch. Here's a couple of uh, center drill. And there's, uh, of course, I think that's probably about a quarter inch, maybe. Certainly going to be more than adequate size for this lathe. Okay, let me show you how the automatic feed mechanism works on the cowls. Of course, you've got a whole bunch of change gears back here, so you can change the rate of feed if you want to. Um, and it's got a nice little, I believe they call that a dog clutch. Anyway, it only engages at a couple of particular locations uh, along the traverse. But uh, once you get it engaged, it'll traverse slowly. And it'll even shut off when you get to the dead end. I'll cut here just for fun. Okay, that's how the automatic cutoff system works on the cowls. All right, we're about to see how this little cowls does. I think before I get too much further, I'm 
I should put it in back gear. Let me show you how it turns right now, just for fun. That's how it's turning right now. All right, let's uh, widen out the picture and I'll put it in back gear and you can watch me do that. All right. I think the trick with these cowls is that you have to find the right Helen wrench to do the job. Let's see, that one? Is it that one? No, is it that one? No, is it this one? Hmm, yeah. So this is the one. Now this will engage the back gear. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so I need to engage the back gear. About like so. But I also need to pull this uh, out. Actually, I should have done that first. All right, let's turn this around here. I think it's going to be this one. Oops, no. This one. All right. So now I've got that uncoupled. And we should be able to put it into back gear here. And I, I really prefer, usually, whenever whenever I'm doing anything a little weird, even, well, this is my first cutoff with this lathe, so definitely want to take it slow. I prefer to go slow. I'm a, I'm a bit of a doofus, so I need to go slow on these things, at least the first few cuts, the first few times I use the lathe, maybe. So I'm going to take it real slow on this, and especially, you know, seeing as how this is a, you know, you're cutting something off here. Let's let's take it easy. Let's not go too nuts. All right, I'm bringing this in now. Let's see. Uh, let me make sure I've got it all set to go. It's in back gear. I really need to change the belt speed on that. All right, I might as well do that. Let's see if I can get away with it. Yeah, it looks like. All right, let's see if it can, there we go. All right, let's see how it works, shall we? Hoping to get away without oil, but I may not be able to avoid it. See if I can do a facing cut on this thing to just clean it up some. Yeah. 
Uh, I think that's a little bit cleaner. Let's take a look. Something like that. Oops. Yeah, quite a bit cleaner. Okay, now I forgot what I want to do here, but I want to modify this somehow. I'll have to look at that. What I'm going to do is put it on like that and do some modifications to it. What a fun little lay. This is just cute as it could possibly be. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of this little Cowles ME90 lathe. Thank you very much.